This is Twit. The interesting thing about this K release uh, that it's going to be tailored, you know, tailored for integration with other devices. I'm imagining, like right now with Google Glass, uh, which tethers to your phone via Bluetooth, which is purportedly what this wrist, what this new wristwatch is going to do. You have to run that My Glass app in order for it, for your phone to detect that the device is there and for you to configure it. And it seems like the K release or Keyline Pi will maybe have that layer built into Android, yeah. right? So it won't be a separate app. So we can say, oh hey, you know. Where are the wearables, you know, that, that, that are, you know, that, that should link to this phone? Oh, there's your watch. Oh, there's your glass. Um, I cool. Think you're and dead you'll be able on. to manage it. Yeah, yeah you'll be able I to think manage you're dead on. Without that, having a solid different app. That makes perfect sense. And I can already kind of visualize the settings pane for, you know, that kind of yep. category of things and glass being built in there and not having to run the separate app. I think you're totally right there. Mm -hmm. uh, that's cool. Um, and it's just kind of interesting. I mean, it totally plays to the fact that, you know, if this is to be believed that uh, Google really envisions Android to not just be a smartphone and tablet operating system. It's the operating system for whatever you really want it to be. They're opening it up more and more and removing some of the restrictions they've had in the past, you know, as far as like, you know, requiring Play Store access for official things. Well, you can't, you know, why would you need to require that on something like a refrigerator? Uh, this this kind of shows that they're thinking about those other those other directions, and uh, mm -hmm. curious to see where Android ends up. But uh, if you're Ouya, you're scared. Yeah. Seeing this news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you? Yeah. See, see when Google, when Google came out with uh, Drive, I th uh, I was thinking, oh man, a Dropbox must be scared. Dropbox has done all right. So it's, Dropbox has done well. Yeah. It's it's possible to compete, but it, I mean, they're they're different levels, obviously. Dropbox. Right. Well, also has, Google has built a long reputation for themselves, and Google doesn't have a history of coming out with a product and then owning the whole product line. They come, they they come out with a product, and then other people can you know, build on top of it. Same thing with Google TV. So, yeah. if they did something like this, I bet that actually Ouya may be excited that now they're a competitor to this product, and hopefully uh, game developers will build in control support to absolutely everything that Ouya can now mm -hmm. transition to something more mainstream than the thing that people could also develop for. That's a really good point. I mean, the Nexus devices aren't necessarily always competitors to other phones. They're the basis, they're kind of the baseline kind of model for other phones. So that ends up potentially being the case here as well. It's a really good point, Chad. Yeah, that is a good point. And it'd be nice to see more games. It might be more games in the in the Ouya store. I don't know what the yeah. Ouya store is called, but um, but Ouya has its own market for games, right? Yes. Right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So if the Ouya is running the the, the the latest version of Android that has sort of sta you know standards or APIs for game controllers, um, I think it's running a little bit of an older version of Android right now, maybe 4.1. Uh, but if it I was able to upgrade for that, I mean, a, a game developer could make a game and submit it to both the Ouya store and the and the Play Store, and that's good for everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and and uh, if I believe, cor if I remember correctly, uh, the the big reason that they have their own app store is because things like controller support are not really built into apps in uh, in general. So, I mean, truly, that's if they came out with a, a game um, platform that w if Google came out with a game platform, that would be the most exciting thing is that apps would be built in uh, with controller support so that. Maybe even if I don't buy this console, I could get a controller and play an easy controller game on my phone or my tablet or whatever.